Hi, Jane. Where are you going? Hi, Sandra. I'm heading to the market. Which one? The one down the street. Today is a good day to go. There are a lot of items on sale. That's great to know. I need to buy a lot of stuff. The market is going out of business. Why? Not enough customers. That's not good. I always go to that market. Me too. But more people are going to the bigger market a few blocks away. It's always so crowded there. I know, but it has a bigger selection of things. Yeah, but I still like the smaller store. Well, you better leave soon. There were a lot of people today because of the big sale. Okay, thanks for letting me know. I'll see you later. Hello? Hi, Diane. This is Helen. Hi, Helen. What's up? I want to throw Mom a surprise birthday party. That's a wonderful idea. How can I help? Do you know who we should invite? Her friends and co workers? Do you have their phone numbers or email addresses? No, I don't. Why don't we ask Dad? He should have them. Do you think Dad can keep a secret? Yeah, remember? He surprised her with a trip to France a couple of years ago. Oh, yeah. Mom was so surprised. What kind of food should we serve? Let's serve Mom's favorite food pasta. I can cook. Okay. I can take care of the party decorations. Perfect. Should we get together to discuss all of the plans? Sure. Do you want to meet right now? No. I have some things to do. Can I meet you at 5 p.m.? Okay. That sounds good. Why don't you come to my house? I can make us dinner. Susie, I'm picking you up from school early today. Why, Mom? You have a dentist appointment. I don't want to go. It's just a checkup. But it hurt last time. That's because you had a cavity. But I brush my teeth every day. I know, but you eat too much candy. I hope I don't have any cavities this time. Me too. What time are you picking me up? Two o'clock. Okay, I'll tell my teacher. I will also call the school office. Okay, I'll see you later. Hi, Kate. Why do you look so tired? Oh, hi, Anne. We just got back from the emergency room. Why, what happened? Jason had to get stitches. Why did he cut himself? Yeah, he was slicing some onions and the knife slipped. He got a really deep cut on his finger. That sounds painful. The painful part was waiting at the emergency room. There was only one doctor working tonight. We waited three hours. What about his finger? The nurse wrapped it with a bandage to stop the bleeding. I hate the ER. It's always crowded and takes too long. I know. But I knew he had to have stitches. It was a really bad cut, so we had to stay. How many stitches did he get? Nine. He won't be able to play video games for a few weeks. Is that a good thing? Actually, it is. But he's not happy about it. Can we share this cab? Where are you going? To Fifth Avenue and Main Street. That's where I'm going, too. Great. It's so hard to catch a cab at this time. I know. Are you going to work? No, I'm meeting some friends at a restaurant. Is it the new Thai place? Yes. Have you been there? Yeah. How is it? It's pretty good. Oh, good. It's my first time trying Thai food. Really? Everything is freshly made. That's good to hear. I'm a little picky about food. I hope you like it. Thanks. Where are you going? Work. Where do you work? I'm a chef at the new Thai restaurant. That's awesome. Let the chef know what you think later. If you liked it, you may get a free dessert. You're funny. Hello? Hi, Jane. This is Anne. Are you free tonight? I have to work. What time do you get off work? 7 p.m. Why? I have tickets to the symphony. Would you like to go? What time does it start? 
7 p.m. Can you get off work a little early? No, I'm the only one available tonight. You can come late. I can drop off the ticket at your work. I might be really late. I have to go home first to shower and change my clothes. Then I have to drive all the way to the concert hall. Oh, maybe I should ask someone else this time. Yeah, that might be a better idea. I'm sorry. My company gives us concert tickets all the time. Let's try to go next time. That sounds good. Have a great time. Hello? Hi, Jane. This is Susan. Hi, Susan. How are you? Did you receive an invitation to the family reunion? Yeah. Are you going to go? I don't think so. Why? Remember, our cousin Bill and I had a disagreement at the last reunion. Yes, but it was all a misunderstanding. I know, but I still feel uncomfortable about it. I would really like to see you there. I haven't seen you in a while. I know. I feel the same way. If you don't go to the reunion, maybe I can visit you. That sounds like a great idea. Have you ever been to New York? No. I would love to visit you and check out the city. Let's plan to do that. I still want you to come to the reunion. I'll think about it. Okay. I hope to see you there. Hey, Paul. Have you been working out? Hey, David. Yeah, I've been going to the gym every day before work. I need to go, too, but I'm so lazy now. I needed to lose a few pounds. That's what motivated me. Now, I just like going. I need to lose some weight, too. I gained around 20 pounds this year. You did? Why don't you come with me tomorrow morning? What time do you go in the morning? 5 a.m. I work out for about an hour. 5 a.m.? That's too early. You should try it. It feels great to work out early in the morning. I'm asleep at 5 a.m. I'll wake you up tomorrow morning. We can start slow by just doing a little running on the treadmill. I hate running. Okay, how about lifting weights? I don't have the strength to lift weights. Okay, how about aerobics? That's too much jumping around. Yoga? Too boring. You're right, David. You're too lazy to work out. Hi, Alice. What are you doing here? Hi, Linda. I'm here for a checkup. How about you? I'm here for a procedure. What kind of procedure? A root canal. A root canal? That's pretty serious, isn't it? Yeah. I didn't take care of a tooth, and now it's infected. Wow. I'm sorry to hear that. Are you in pain? A little. I took some medicine this morning. That should help. I don't have dental insurance, so it's going to be very expensive. That's terrible. Why don't you have dental insurance? I didn't think it was important. I think it's important to have dental insurance. Yeah, and it's important to take care of your teeth. I agree. Hi. How can I help you? I need to mail this package to Italy. What is in the package? Some toys and baby clothes. Are there any breakables? Is it fragile? No. What is the address? I have it here. Please, fill out this form. Print clearly. Sometimes it is hard to read. Okay. When will my package arrive? It depends on your shipping choice. I would like your fastest shipping. It will be there in one week. Great. That's perfect. This is the cost. How would you like to pay? With my credit card. Okay. Is there anything else I can help you with today? No. That's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Hey, Jason. Is that a new car? Hey, Dan. No, this is a rental car. Where is your car? At the auto shop. I was in an accident yesterday. The car is getting repaired. Are you okay? Yeah. Luckily, it wasn't a serious accident. There were just some minor damages to the fender and bumper. That's good. When do you get your car back? It's supposed to be ready this afternoon. That's quick. Yeah, my auto shop is pretty fast. They have a lot of mechanics. Do they do a good job? 
Are they reasonably priced? Oh, yes. They do a great job. I haven't had any problems yet. They're a little more expensive than other places, but their work and service is excellent. I may have to get their name and number. My car needs some regular maintenance work. They have a website. Sometimes they offer discounts on certain services. Really? That's good to know. Yeah. I'll email you the website link. Thanks. I'll check it out tonight. Hi, Bill. Hi, Ted. Bill, would you like to come to a backyard barbecue? Sure. When? Tomorrow at 5 o'clock p.m. Who else is coming? I invited a few other neighbors. What's the occasion? I got a new outdoor grill, and I want to test it out. It sounds like fun. What can I bring? Would you like to bring some beverages? I can do that. Great. I'm going to grill some hamburgers and hot dogs. That sounds delicious. Our neighbor, Peter, is going to bring some apple pies. This is going to be a great party. I hope so. I hope my grill works well. If it doesn't, we can order pizza. That's funny. I like pizza, too. I like hamburgers better. I'm thinking about throwing Bobby a birthday party in the backyard. That sounds like a great idea. Have you checked the weather? The weather is going to be sunny this weekend. That's perfect for an outdoor party. I want to do a barbecue and have games. I can help you. That would be wonderful. Have you thought of what you want to serve? I want to do something simple, like grill hot dogs with potato chips. I can bake a cake for you. Wow, that is so kind of you. Are you sure? It would be my pleasure. Can I pay you? No, it is my gift to Bobby. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Is there anything else I can help you with? No. Baking the birthday cake is plenty. Okay. Let me know if there is anything else you need. The traffic is really getting bad these days. I agree. I sat in traffic for two hours last night. I've started to leave work late just to beat the rush hour traffic. I wish I could do that. I have to pick up my son before the daycare closes. Oh, I see. What time does the daycare close? Six o'clock. What time do you usually get there? Just a few minutes before they close. What happens if you're late? They will wait with the child, of course, but you have to pay extra. Have you ever been late? Yeah, a few times. I was late yesterday. I don't want to pay extra. Daycare is already expensive. Yeah. I'm sure it is. Do you have other people who can help you? No, I just listen to the traffic report and leave earlier, if the roads sound bad. Is your boss understanding? Yeah, she's very understanding. She has children, too. I'm taking my son to a baseball game. Cool. We always watch it on TV, but I wanted him to experience the game in person. My son loves going to the games. He loves the hot dogs and cotton candy. Yeah, I think my son will be more interested in those things, too. Where are your seats? My boss gave me his season tickets for this game. We're sitting right behind home plate. Wow, those are fantastic seats. You have a nice boss. Yes, I do. He has three children. They are all grown up now, but he still takes them to games. It's a great time to bond with your children. That's what I'm hoping for. Are you taking your baseball mitts? Yeah. My son wants to take it just in case he catches a foul ball. He may. You never know. Also, I want to take our mitts so we can get them signed by one of the players. That would be amazing. He would probably love that. He would be so thrilled. Well, have a great time. I'll try to find you on TV. Hey, Joe. Where are you heading? Hey, Charlie. I'm meeting some friends at the park. We're going to play basketball. It's a great day for it. Nice and sunny. Yeah, perfect day to be outside. Do you play basketball? I used to play in high school. I was on the school basketball team. Do you want to join us? I can't today. I have a dentist appointment. A dentist appointment on a nice day? Yeah, it was the only day available. What about next weekend? 
We get together every Saturday at the basketball court in the park. Sure. Sounds like fun. What time? Same time every Saturday, 10 a.m. Do you think your friends will be okay with a new guy joining? Yeah. We could use another player. One guy hurt his knee and won't be able to play for a while. Okay. Then I'll see you next Saturday. Cool. Hey, Simon. What are you doing this Saturday? Nothing much, Phil. Do you want to go to the basketball game? Sure. What time does the game start? 7 p.m. How much is the ticket? Don't worry about it. It's my treat. That's really nice of you. I'll pick you up at 6 p.m. You're going to drive, too? Sure. I don't mind driving. Hey, let's have dinner before we go. That will be my treat. Okay. Sounds good. Where should we go? There's a great steakhouse near the arena. Do you want to go there? Steak? Sure. I'll pick you up at 4 p.m. Cool. Thanks for inviting me. Hey, thanks for dinner. Hi, Mary. What's wrong? Oh, hi, Alice. I just got back from the hospital. Is something wrong? My son was in an auto accident last night. Oh, dear. I'm sorry to hear that. Was he seriously injured? Yes. He broke both of his legs and his ribs. That's awful. I know. He just got his driver's license a month ago. How scary for him. It wasn't his fault, though. He was hit by a drunk driver. That's terrible. I'm so angry about it. My son could have been killed by an irresponsible driver. You're right. Did they catch the other driver? Was he or she injured? Yeah, he was arrested. He wasn't injured. Do you think he will go to jail? I don't know. I'm just worried about my son right now. Can I help you with anything? Well, I just came home to get a change of clothes. I'm going to go back to the hospital soon. Would you be able to feed our cats tonight? Of course. Please let me know if there is anything else I can help you with. Thanks, Alice. Jennifer, are you going to join the choir club? No, Nancy. I'm not. Why? You have such a beautiful voice. I'm too shy. You sing so well, you could probably get a solo. Thanks for the compliment. I'm scared to sing in front of an audience. You're wasting your talent. If I could sing like you, I would join the choir. My mom said the same thing. You should think about it again. What if I get on stage and I freeze? Maybe this is a great way to overcome your fear. I do love singing. Then you should join. You'll make a great addition to the club. Okay, let me think about it. The choir teacher thinks you should join. How does she know? She's never heard me sing. Yes, she has. I recorded your singing and let her listen to it. You did? Did she like it? She loved it. She said you have an amazing voice. Hello? Hi, Stacy. This is Stephanie. Guess what I just got? What? Two tickets to the concert tonight. How did you get those? The concert has been sold out for months. My dad works at the arena. He was able to get front row seats. Are you serious? Yes. Do you want to go? Yes. I need to ask my mom, but I'm sure I can go. Okay, my dad can pick you up. We're going to leave at 4 p.m. What time does the concert start? 7 p.m. Why are we leaving so early? We want to have dinner first. Okay, I'll let my mom know. I'm so excited. Me too. Thank you so much for inviting me. Of course I would invite you. You're my best friend. Hi, Jane. Did you buy some new shoes? Hi, Carol. Yeah, I'm taking dancing classes, and I need new dancing shoes. Where are the classes? At the local community center. How do you like it? I'm really enjoying it. What kind of dance are you learning? We're learning a few different types of dance. So far, we've learned ballet, modern, and tap. Which one is your favorite? I like tap dance. Ballet was pretty hard. Sounds like a lot of fun. It is. You want to join? Our class is not full.
I'm too old to take dance lessons. No, you are not. You should come to one of our classes. The first visit is free. Really? Free? When are your lessons? Every Monday evening at 7 p.m. Okay, I'll go next Monday. But don't laugh at me. I'm a terrible dancer. Me too. That's why I'm taking lessons. Hi, Janet. What are you doing today? Hi, Carol. My daughter has a soccer game at 11 a.m. Today? It's going to rain all day. Yeah, she plays in the rain, too. They don't cancel games if it rains? No, only if there's a storm. Wow. But I bet it's fun to watch. Yes, we love it. She's the goalie. She's really good. How long has she been playing? Seven years. She wants to get a scholarship to college. She's a smart girl. Did you play soccer too? I played a couple of years in high school, but she is much better than I was. Do you worry that she could get hurt? Yes, all the time. But she loves the sport and wants to play. Maybe we'll see her in the Olympics one day. That's her dream. Do you know how to draw? Yes, drawing is one of my hobbies. Really? I didn't know that. I doodle when I'm bored. Can you help my son with his school project? Sure. What does he need to do? He needs to draw a picture of a big castle. That's not hard at all. When is it due? Tomorrow. Oh, that soon? Yeah. He didn't tell me until today. Okay. I can come by after dinner. Why don't you come for dinner? That would be lovely. Thank you. Thank you. I cannot draw at all, and I was so worried about this assignment. Don't worry. He will have an awesome castle. Hey, Stan. Do you know any good mechanics around here? Yeah. I use a really good one. What's wrong with your car? I'm not sure. I think there was a problem with my transmission. Transmission problems can be very expensive. I know. I took it to an auto shop yesterday, and it was so expensive. I'm looking for someone cheaper, but who can still do a good job. You should go to my mechanic. You can trust him, and his repair costs are pretty reasonable. Is he close to us? His shop is just a few blocks away. That's good. I hope I don't have to replace the transmission. That will be really expensive. I know. I had to replace the transmission on my old car. The repair cost more than the price of the car. That's crazy. If my repair costs too much, I'm just going to buy a new car. Can you afford a new car? No. I would have to buy a used car. Let me get my mechanic's phone number. You can decide what you want to do after he takes a look at your car. Thanks. I can give you a ride home if you need to leave your car there. If it's only a few blocks away, I'll walk. If my car is too expensive to fix, I better get used to walking. Hey, Sam. You're home. Where's your car? Oh, hey, John. It's in the auto shop. Again? What's wrong with it this time? I'm not sure. It's making a lot of strange noises. That's weird. It's not even an old car. I know. I've only had it for three years. My mechanic doesn't know what the problem is. He doesn't know? What is he doing, then? Trying all different things. I'm getting tired of waiting for him to fix it. You should take it to another mechanic. I should, but I already paid him. He just keeps saying he will fix it. He doesn't sound very trustworthy. I know. I should have gone somewhere else, but he was so cheap. He was the cheapest I could find. Maybe too cheap. Cheap isn't always better. I'm learning that now. You should demand a refund. I wish I could, but it's a little complicated. Why is it complicated? The mechanic is my brother-in-law. Why are you so late? There was a big accident on the freeway. The police closed all the lanes. We had to take a detour. Was anyone hurt? 
I think so. I saw two ambulances and a fire truck driving by. That's terrible. I know. I hope no one was seriously injured. That's scary. Do you know what caused the accident? I don't know. I didn't see it happen. You should have called me. We were supposed to meet Kathy and Rick for dinner at 6 p.m. After seeing the accident, I didn't want to use my phone while driving. That was smart. We should just eat at home tonight. I think traffic is going to be bad. Oh, no. What's wrong? I just got a text from Kathy. She said she and Rick were in an accident on the freeway. They're at the hospital. Oh, my goodness. Let's go to the hospital now. Hey, Ben. Have you seen the price of gas lately? Yeah, Mike. It's really high. That's why I've been riding the bus to work. I wish I could ride the bus, but I would have to take three buses to get to work. Three? Yeah. It would take me twice as long to get to work. That's not good. I only have to take one bus, and it takes me directly from my home to my office building. You're lucky. I know. What about riding your bike to work? No, I'm not very good at cycling, and it's too far. You can carpool with someone. That's a good idea. Then we could share the cost of gas and ride in the carpool lane. Do you work with anyone who lives near you? Yeah, my boss. Would you want to ride with your boss? No, not really. I think I'd rather pay more for gas. Hi, Carol. Why are you all dressed up? Oh, hi, Joanne. Bill and I are going to a play tonight. My daughter is the lead actress. Oh, really? How exciting! This will be her first performance. She is a drama student in college, and she got the lead role. I'd love to see her perform someday. Let me know when she'll be on stage again. Okay, I will. I'm so excited and proud of her. Is she nervous? Yes, she is very nervous. But she loves acting, so this will be a true test for her. Is this part of her school assignment? No. This is something she auditioned for on her own. She won the lead part? Yeah. She was shocked. Her drama professor is coming, too. How does she feel about that? She's more nervous about her drama professor than the rest of the audience. But she's not going to be graded on it. Yeah, but she still wants to do well in front of him. I understand. Well, have a lovely time tonight. I'm going to an art gallery tonight. That's cool. My friend, Jane, is an artist. She's displaying her work there. I love art. I paint in my spare time. Really? I didn't know that. My friend is a sculptor. Sculpting? That's fascinating. Would you like to come with me tonight? I can't. I already have plans. She is going to be displaying her work all week. Would you like to go tomorrow night? Sure, I would love to. I can introduce you to her. She always loves talking to people about art. I don't know that much about it. I just really enjoy looking at it. I don't know a lot about art either. I'm just going to support her tonight. You're a good friend. What is your interest? I prefer music. I love music too, but painting is my passion. I would like to see your work one day. I can show you some right now. I have them on my wall. Let's go see them. Hi, Tim. Do you want to grill some steaks tonight? Hi, Dan. Steaks sound delicious. They are on sale at the market. Should we invite some friends? Okay, who? How about Sandy and Linda? Okay, but Linda is a vegetarian. What is a vegetarian? A vegetarian is a person who does not eat meat. Oh, maybe we should invite someone else. How about Susie? Okay, let's invite Sandy and Susie. I will go to the market and buy four steaks. What else should we eat? How about potatoes and salad? Okay, I will go to the market now. Can you call Sandy and Susie? Sure, Dan. Why aren't you leaving? What's wrong? It's raining. What should we do? We can still barbecue. We have a covered yard. Okay, I'll be back soon. I hope the weather gets better. I hope so, too. 
I feel so bad for Mary. Me too. I can't believe her husband died. They were married for a long time. I know. What is she going to do now? I don't know. Does she have any children? No, I don't think they had any children. How about other family members? I think she had one sister, but she passed away several years ago. So she's all alone now? Yeah. Isn't that sad? Yes, it is very sad. She is always so nice to everyone. I think we should all get together and do something nice for her. I like that idea. What should we do? Let's take turns helping her around the house. Great idea. We can take care of her yard, help clean her house, and bring her meals. I love this. Let's talk to the other neighbors soon. Hey, Billy. Do you want to come over after school? Hey, Mark. No, I have to finish my chores. I didn't do them all week, so now I have to do them all today. What do you have to do? Rake the yard and clean my room. Is that going to take a long time? Have you seen my room? It looks like a tornado went through it. Why didn't you clean it before? I hate cleaning. Do you have chores? Yeah, but I try to finish them as soon as possible. You're smart. Now I have to spend Friday afternoon doing chores. That's too bad. I got a new video game I wanted to show you. Do you want to help me with my chores? No way. I'm going to enjoy my Friday afternoon. Well, I better get to work or I'll be doing it after dinner, too. Finish your chores earlier next time. I know. I say that every week. Hi, Janet. Where are you going with those books? To the library. I found these under Joseph's bed. Under his bed? Yeah, they are all overdue. How did you find them? We got a notice from the library that he had several overdue books, so I started searching his room. How late are they? About two months. Didn't you receive notices before? I found the notices in his room, too. Why didn't he return them? He said he couldn't find them. Is he in trouble? Of course he's in trouble. He doesn't get to play video games for each book that is late. That's five weeks. Yes, that's his punishment. He needs to learn not to hide letters that come in the mail. He also needs to learn to clean his room so things don't get lost. What's wrong, Phil? Hi, Mark. Our dog, Rusty, is lost. Someone left the backyard gate open, and he got out. Oh, no. Let me help you find him. Thanks. My daughter is so upset right now. Have you called the local dog shelters? Yeah, they haven't seen him. They said they would call me if they find our dog. Does he have any identification on him? Yeah, he's wearing his dog tag, and he's also microchipped. That's good. Should we make some flyers to post around the neighborhood? My wife is doing that right now. How old is Rusty? He's four years old, and he's brown with white spots. I know what he looks like. Oh, that's right. I'm not thinking straight. I'm just worried he was stolen or is injured somewhere. I understand. He's part of your family. Yeah, he's a big part of our family. We got him when he was a little puppy. Hey, Phil! There he is! Rusty, come here, boy! Hi, Carol. You look tired today. I am tired. I didn't get any sleep last night. Why? Our neighbor's dog would not stop barking. He barked all night long. That's awful. Did you complain to your neighbor? I knocked on his door, but he didn't answer. I don't think he was home. What did you do all night? I couldn't sleep, so I tried to read a book. But the dog's barking kept distracting me so I just watched TV. I would be so angry. You should have called the police. I didn't want to bother the police with a barking dog. I would have called them. What if there was an emergency at your neighbor's house and the dog was trying to alert someone? That's true. I didn't think about that. But this dog usually barks because he's bored. That's annoying. I know.
Hey, Carol, is that your neighbor? He's walking towards us. What is he holding? It looks like a plate of cookies. Hi, Helen. What's wrong? I couldn't sleep until three o'clock in the morning. Why? What happened? Our neighbor's children threw a big party last night. The music was so loud. Wow. Where were their parents? They are on vacation. They left the kids home. How old are the kids? They're teenagers. They're old enough to be home alone. Did you complain to them? Yes. I went over there three times. I told them that their music was too loud and we were trying to sleep. What did they do? Nothing. They wouldn't turn the music down. That is so rude. Why didn't you call the police? I finally did. The police found some of the teens drinking alcohol. I bet that ended the party. Yeah. Now my neighbors are heading back home from their vacation. Do they know what happened? Yes, they are not happy. Those kids are in big trouble. Hello. Thank you for calling Dr. Smith's office. How can I help you? This is Eleanor Johnson. I'd like to make an appointment to see the dentist. Will this be your first visit? Yes. I haven't been to the dentist in a while. I'm afraid of going to the dentist. Oh, you will like Dr. Smith. He's very gentle. That's nice to hear. Is there anything wrong with your teeth? I have a toothache. We have an opening tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Do you have anything this afternoon? My tooth hurts very much. Uh, we are very busy this afternoon, but I can squeeze you in around 4 p.m. Does that work for you? Yes, 4 p.m. is perfect. Do you have dental insurance? Yes, I do. Okay, please come in 15 minutes early to fill out some forms. Okay, I will be there at 345. Thank you so much. You're welcome. We'll see you soon. Bye. Hi. Are you new to the apartment building? Yes. My name is Monica. Nice to meet you, Monica. My name is Paul. I live on the third floor, apartment number 305. I live on the fourth floor in 405. Hey, you live right above me. That's funny. I hope I'm not too noisy. I've been moving furniture around. That's okay. It doesn't bother me. Have you met any of the other neighbors? I've met a few people. Everyone seems friendly here. Yeah. Every month we have a party on the rooftop. It's a potluck, so you can bring a dish to share. That sounds fun. I love parties and potlucks. Our next one is on Saturday at 5 p.m. You should come. I'm bringing my famous pasta salad. Sounds delicious. I'll make a chocolate cake. I love chocolate cake. I can't wait to try it. Thanks for letting me know about the party. There should be an invitation in your mailbox. Everyone gets one. I better check the mailbox then. I still have so much unpacking to do. Do you need help moving any more furniture? No, my brother helped me last night. I'm done with the big items. I just need to unpack pots and pans and dishes now. Okay, let me know if you need help. See you at the party. Hey, Joe, have you seen Sandy? No, Bill. Why? We had a misunderstanding, and she is not talking to me. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, I said something silly and hurt her feelings. What did you say? It's not important. I don't want to discuss it. I just want to apologize to her. She always hangs out at Linda's house or the library. I've already checked both places. How about her house? Her roommate said she wasn't home. Have you called her cell phone? Yeah, several times. She must really be mad at you. She was. She stormed off and I didn't get to explain what I meant. I'm really curious now. What did you say to her? I told her to exercise. Well, that probably wasn't a smart thing to say to a woman. I meant that she should exercise to stay healthy. That sounds better. Hope you find her. Jane, how was school today? Mom, it was fun. I made a new friend. That's nice. What's her name? Her name is Cindy. Is she new to your school? Yeah, she's a new student. She moved here from Seattle, Washington. You have an aunt who lives in Seattle. I know. I like Seattle. It's beautiful there, but it rains too much. Yeah, 
That's why we're staying in sunny California. Cindy and I have a lot in common. We both like drawing, playing with dogs, and eating pizza. You should invite her over for dinner one night. Can we, Mom? Sure. We can order pizza. Maybe I'll ask her if she can come over on Friday. Okay. Let's invite her parents, too. We can get to know them. That's a good idea. They don't have any friends here yet. What are you doing today? Hi, Peter. I'm taking my son to the bank. He got his first paycheck yesterday, so we're going to open a bank account for him. That's a great idea. Yeah, I hope this will teach him how to save money and use it wisely. We did that with our kids, too. Is he excited about it? Not really. He wants to spend it all on video games. Well, it's his first paycheck, so I'm sure he wants to spend his own money. I understand that. He knows he can spend it any way he wants to. I just want him to be able to learn how to save some, too. Yeah, I totally understand. My first son spent his whole paycheck each time. Now he doesn't have anything saved. My second son saves and saves. I'm hoping Jonathan saves and saves. Now my older son always borrows money from his younger brother. Wow. Does your younger son loan him money? Yeah, but he adds on interest. That's funny and smart. He's like a bank. He wants to be a banker one day. This is giving him great experience. Yeah, but not a great relationship with his brother. Hello? Hi, John. This is Stephen. What are you doing tonight? Hey, Stephen. Nothing much. I don't have any plans yet. Do you want to hang out? Sure. What did you have in mind? I don't know. It's Friday, and I'm bored. Want to go to the movies? Is there a good movie to see? Let's check the internet. Okay. Let me log on to my computer. Do you want to see a comedy or a drama? Nothing sad or depressing. I had a hard work week. I want to see something funny. I agree. Work was stressful for me, too. There aren't any new comedies right now. I only see dramas and horror movies. Yeah, that's all I see, too. Hey, let's go to the comedy club. My favorite comedian is performing tonight at the local theater. That sounds great. What time? It starts at 7 p.m. Let's do dinner, too. Good idea. I'll meet you at your house at 5 p.m. See you tonight. Hey, Jason, do you play any instruments? Yeah, I play two instruments. I play the piano and violin. I wish I knew how to play an instrument. You don't know how to play any instruments? No, my mom gave me piano lessons when I was a child, but I hated it, so I quit. I took piano and violin lessons when I was a child. How long did you take lessons? Ten years. Wow, you must be really good. My mom wanted me to go to a music college, but I wanted to be a doctor. Really? Yeah, my mom was a famous violinist in China. My dad was a famous pianist in China. You come from a very talented family. Thanks. What instrument do you want to learn? Guitar. Oh, I don't know how to play the guitar. We can take lessons together. I wish I could, but I don't have time. Hey, Joe. What are you doing? Hi, Mark. I'm getting ready to send a package. Do you need to go to the post office? Yeah, but the line is usually very long. Where are you sending your package? Overseas to Korea. Is it a big package? Yeah, some books and clothes for my nephew and nieces. That's nice. Do you think the line will be long today? I think so. Today is Monday. Most people go on Monday since the post office is closed on Sunday. You're right. Maybe I should wait until tomorrow. I think that's a better idea. Thanks for reminding me. I don't like waiting in long lines. Me too. Do you want to go have lunch instead? Sure. I'll be right back. I'm going to put my package away. I'm taking a pottery class. Cool. What have you made so far? A bowl, a vase, and a mug. Do you like the class? Yes. It's a lot of fun. I'm going to make each member of my family a cup. That's nice. It's going to be their Christmas gifts. Is it hard to do? It was hard at first, but 
Then I got used to the pottery wheel. What made you decide to take a pottery class? I like taking lots of different classes. I get bored. I wish I could take a class. I'm so busy with work and school. Maybe one day after you retire, you'll have some time. Retirement sounds great. It is, but it can be boring. I always have to find something to do. You must have a lot of hobbies. I do. My hobbies are sewing, quilting, scrapbooking, and now pottery making. Wow, you must have a lot of great homemade items. I do. My closet is full of them. Hi, Billy. How was your first day at a new school? It was okay, Mom. Did you make any new friends? Yeah, a boy in my class. Is he nice? What's his name? He's cool. His name is Brian. He plays soccer. You love soccer. You were on the soccer team at your old school. Yeah, I miss my old team with Ted, Mark, and Richard. I know you do. Do you want to invite Brian over to play one day? Sure. He rides the school bus on our street. Do you want to start riding the school bus too? Yeah. Then I can meet more of the neighborhood kids. Okay. Let's plan for you to ride the bus tomorrow morning. Brian said the bus comes at seven forty-five. Then you need to wake up at seven o'clock. I know. I'll set my alarm. Hey, Robert. What are you doing here? Hi, Kevin. I need to buy some stamps. What about you? I was checking my post office box. But my key won't work. Do you know why? I think they canceled my account because I forgot to pay. That's too bad. Yeah, I used it for my business. How long have you been waiting? I've been here since eight a.m. That's thirty minutes. I know it's been a long wait. There are still several people ahead of us. Many people left. They were tired of waiting. I don't think I can wait either. I have a dentist appointment at nine a.m. I'm going to wait. I need to reopen my account. Yeah, I understand. I'm going to come back later. Okay. See you another time. Bye, Kevin. Hey, Jeff. Are you okay? Hi, Dad. Yeah, I'm just a little sad that we are selling my childhood home. I know. I'm sad too. But it's just too big for your mother and me. I understand. I just have a lot of memories here. Me too. This is the first home your mother and I bought. Do you remember all of our holiday parties here? Everyone came to our house. Of course, I remember them. Those were the best times. Now I'm married and have a family of my own. I wish we didn't have to sell it, but we can no longer take care of it. We're getting old, and it's too much work. Do you know who bought our house? A young couple with two kids. They seem like a loving family. Where will you and mom go? We found a beautiful small condo a few blocks away. That's nice. Will there be enough room when the grandchildren visit? Yes, we have an extra room for guests, so your kids can stay over any time. Where's mom? She's at the fabric store. She wants to sew new curtains for the condo. Hi, Carol. What are you doing? Hi, Jane. I'm making a shopping list for the supermarket. I need to go too, but my car is at the repair shop. What's wrong with it? Nothing serious, just an oil change. Do you want to join me? Sure. Which one are you going to? ABC Grocery. I have coupons for that market. Let me check my purse and see if I have any coupons too. You can get good deals on a lot of things if you have their coupons. I know. I use their coupons all the time. So do you have any? No, I think I used them all. Where did you get your coupons? They came in the mail today. Have you looked in your mailbox? No, not yet. I'll go do that right now. What time are you leaving? Don't worry, I can wait for you. Thanks. I'll be right back. Hello. Hi, Sue. This is Linda. Are you free for lunch today? No, David is sick today. He couldn't go to school. That's terrible. Is it a cold? Yeah, I think so. He has a cough and a sore throat. My son Billy was sick last week too. He missed four days of school. 
Wow, I hope David isn't sick that long. There's a virus going around. We need to stay healthy, too. I know. I've been taking extra vitamin C to stay healthy. Good idea. I think I'll buy some today. Do you need anything at the store? Actually, I do. I couldn't go to the store because I didn't want to leave David alone. I understand. What do you need? Could you please buy me a whole chicken? I want to make David some chicken soup. That's a great idea. I'll drop it off on my way home. Thank you so much. I will pay you back when you drop off the chicken. Okay. I'm going to go to the store after lunch. I will be at your house around 2 p.m. Great. See you then. Don't forget to buy vitamin C. Hi, Susie. Where are you going? Are you taking a trip? Yeah. I'm going to Chicago. My sister just had a baby. I'm going to be helping her for a couple of weeks. That's so nice of you. Did she have a boy or a girl? A girl. Her name is Rose. What a beautiful name. Yeah. She is named after our grandmother. My daughter is also named after my grandmother. Her name is Marie. That's also a beautiful name. Thanks. Is this your sister's first child? Yeah. This is my first niece, too. She's also the first grandchild in the family. How special. I know. My mother is so excited. She only lives a few blocks away from my sister. So, she will be helping a lot, too. That's wonderful. It's nice to have a lot of help with your first child. Yeah, I agree. Well, I better go now. I have to be at the airport by 1 p.m. Okay, see you in two weeks. Hello? Hi, Cindy. This is Sally. Are you busy this Saturday? I will be working until 5 o'clock. I'm throwing a birthday party for my sister, Allison. Would you like to come? Sure. I would love to. What time is the party? It starts at 5 o'clock. Okay. I will be a little late. I'll try to be there as soon as possible. Great. Where is the party going to be? At my house. What can I bring? No need to bring anything. I'd like to get her a gift. What does she like? That isn't necessary. I really want to. Does she like music? She loves music. What kind of music does she like? Pop, jazz, hip-hop, classical. She likes pop music. Okay, I have an idea. Thanks. That's really nice of you. See you on Saturday. Hello? Hi, Linda. This is Stacy. Are you free tomorrow night? No, I'm not. Why? I'm inviting a couple of friends to sleep over. I wish I could go, but I have to babysit my younger sister. That's too bad. We were going to rent a movie and order pizza. Now I really wish I could go. That sounds like so much fun. Can your parents find another babysitter? No. Our regular babysitter got sick, so they asked me. I see. What time will your parents be back? 9 o'clock p.m. Do you want to come over after you finish babysitting? Will you still be awake? Of course. It's a sleepover party. We're all going to sleep late. Okay. Please save me some pizza. I will. See you tomorrow night. Hi, Carol. Did you get a new car? Hi, Jane. No, this is a rental car. I was in an auto accident yesterday. Are you okay? Yeah, my back hurts a little, but luckily I wasn't seriously injured. Did you go to the hospital? Yeah, I went there this morning. The doctor took some x-rays. Nothing is serious. I just have some bruises. I'm glad you're okay. Was there another car involved? Yeah. The other driver rear-ended me at a red light. Wow. Is he or she okay? Yeah. He seemed okay at the scene. This could have been a serious accident. I know. We were both lucky. Where is your car? Is it getting fixed? No. It's too damaged to be repaired. It's at the junkyard now. That's terrible. Is your insurance going to pay for a new car? Well, it was the other driver's fault, so his insurance is going to take care of it. That's good. Are you going to buy the same type of car? I think so. I loved that car. It protected me in this accident.
I like your sports jersey. Thanks. You must be a fan, too. I am. I went to that college. Really? Me, too. What year did you graduate? 2000. I graduated in 2004. What was your major? I studied law. I studied law, too. I'm Matthew, by the way. I'm Karen. Nice to meet you, Matthew. Are you going to the game tonight? No, I'm going to watch it at home. I have an extra ticket. Would you like to go to the game with me? I'd love to. We can watch our college football team win tonight. Okay. What about dinner first? Sounds great. I'll meet you at this coffee shop at 5 p.m. Okay. See you tonight, Matthew. Has bus 47 come yet? No, I think it's late today. Do you ride this bus every day? Yeah. Do you? Not every day. Only a couple of times a week. Well, I think the bus is late today because of the rain. Oh, does the weather make a difference? Yes, the bus is usually several minutes late when it rains. Because of bad traffic? Yeah, and probably because of car accidents. That makes sense. I must have picked the wrong day to ride the bus. Actually, I think riding the bus on rainy days is better. Why? Then you don't have to drive in bad traffic. Someone is driving for you. You are totally right. I'm going to check the weather from now on. I'm going to take the bus when it rains. Then I'll see you here at the bus stop. Great. It was nice talking with you. Yes, it was. I think our bus is coming now. Did you watch the soccer game yesterday? Yeah, I watched it at the arena. You went to the game? Yeah, I went with my co-workers. It was a good game to watch. It was really close. I know. We were all screaming. The crowd was out of control. Were people getting angry? Yeah, it was getting a little scary. The security guards came and escorted someone out of the arena. Why? He got really drunk and was cursing at everyone. That's crazy. People like that always ruin the fun for everyone. I agree. He was out of control. He threw beer on a stranger. Wow. The stranger stayed calm, but it was a good thing security came. I would have been so upset. Yeah, everyone was getting really upset at the drunk guy. That's why security was called. Sounds like it was an interesting game. It really was. I don't know if I want to go to another game for a while. At least our team won. Hey, Steve. Where are you going with all that baseball gear? Oh, hi, Bob. I coach my son's baseball team. We're having our first practice today. How old is your son? Eight years old. He's been playing baseball for a couple of years. Does he like it? He loves it. This is my first year as a coach. I'm pretty excited. It sounds exciting. I used to play baseball in college. What position did you play? Pitcher. But I had to quit because of a shoulder injury. That's too bad. Do you miss it? Not anymore. I'm too old to play now. My son is a pitcher, too. Maybe you can give him some tips on how to throw. Sure. I'm always free in the afternoon. We have our first game next Saturday. Would you like to come and watch? That would be fun. What time is the game? 10 a.m. Okay. Can I bring my wife? Of course. My son is taking his driver's license test today. Is he nervous? He's a little nervous. It's normal to be nervous. I told him that. He just wants to pass the test so he can start driving to school. Does he have a car? No. He has to share with my wife. Are you going to get him a car? No, not yet. First, he has to show us that he is a responsible driver. Did your auto insurance go up a lot? Yes. Our insurance rate doubled. Wow. Are you serious? Yes. That's what makes me nervous. I don't know how we'll be able to afford insurance when my younger son starts to drive. When will that be? In two years. Better start saving, or better have your sons get part-time jobs. I think I like the part-time job idea better. Hi, Jill. 
What are you doing today? Hi, Sharon. Today we're doing our annual spring cleaning. What is that? It's the day we thoroughly clean the whole house. We throw away things we don't need, pack up things to donate, clean all of the rooms, and wash all of the windows. Wow, that's a lot to do. Yeah, it takes all day. Do your kids help too? Of course. They look through their closets and toy bins to find clothes and toys to donate or throw away. That's a great idea. But why is it called spring cleaning? Because it's done in the spring season. I see. I think we're going to start doing this too. Our house is so cluttered. After we have the things ready for donation, Jim takes them to the local homeless shelter. This makes the house easier to clean. That's great. I'm going to tell my family about this. Well, I better get started. I have a lot to do. Talk to you later, Sharon. Bye, Jill. Thanks for the cleaning tip. Mommy, I don't feel very well. What's wrong, Susie? Didn't you have a good time at the birthday party? Yeah, it was a lot of fun, but now my tummy hurts. Did you eat too much food at the party? I think so. What did you eat? Pizza, cake, ice cream, and potato chips. That is a lot of food. I also had a soda, cookies, and popcorn. Susie, that's why your stomach hurts. You ate too much. Why did you eat so much? I was hungry, and everything looked delicious. Susie, I think you should go lie down for a while. Okay, Mommy. Susie, where are you going? I need to go to the bathroom first. Sally, I'm going to the supermarket this afternoon. Do you need anything? Yes, Mom. Can you buy some snacks for school? Sure. What kind of snacks? I like pretzels and potato chips. Okay. I will pick up some fruits too. I don't like fruits. Fruits are healthy for you. Can I go to the market with you? Are you done with your homework? No. I have to study for a math test tomorrow. Then you should stay home and study. I need to take a break. I've been studying all day. Okay, we will only be gone for about an hour. Can we get ice cream on the way home? I thought you needed to study. I've studied enough. I'm ready for my math test. 